time to go home. Well, I would like to see my fiance. Why put yourself through that? We got a lot of questions to ask, and the answers are not going to be pleasant yeah, to I don't me. understand why you just assume he's guilty. We have strong circumstantial evidence to back us up. Hey. Hey. I'm so glad you're still okay, here. Okay, don't say anything until Scott gets back. He's not here? Where did he go? He's trying to buy time, just avoiding the inevitable. I didn't do this. I swear to you, I didn't do this. Four driver's licenses belonging to the four victims were recovered from your art room at GH. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. I don't know how they got there. Okay, well, obviously somebody placed them there to set you up. It wouldn't be the first time. Lulu Falconeri ID'd Franco as her attacker. Well, she's confused. And as for the licenses, hasn't the killer shifted to blame before? Didn't you find a strand of Carly's hair on Mary Pat's body and the knife used to kill Kiki first it went missing and then it was placed in Griffin's apartment and they're both innocent? So I don't understand why you're so convinced that Franco's guilty. I think that Elizabeth makes some very salient points. Your fiance is biased. Your situation is far different than Carly or Griffin's. Okay, so what about the licenses? What about them? Well, someone planted in, in the art therapy room to implicate me, so it's exactly the same as Carly and Griffin. Carly's hair and the knife that killed Kiki were obvious plants. The license is not so much. So what? The killer deviates from his or her usual plan, and all of a sudden I'm the culprit? You tell us. Okay, I will. I think you are exploiting my history. And another thing, no good deed goes unpunished because you came to me and asked me to share my past with you, and I did, and now you are using it to try and pin these murders on you me. You do not have an alibi for any of the murders, Franco. Which is very troubling. What's also troubling is you have the same shoe as Lulu's attack. Oh, do I? Yeah. It actually matches the print that we recovered from her office. Huh. Well, maybe you should drag everybody from Port Charles in here and interrogate them if they have a size 12. You can say it's all a coincidence, but you know it isn't? The notes from your sessions with Dr. Collins. OK, now you need to take a look at this. Turns out you won't be railroading my innocent son after all. What's happening? Well, it's a little thing I like to call due process. What is Scott trying to pull here? An injunction from a federal judge. Which means my son won't be charged with anything until all potential medical factors are what ruled out. What sort of medical factors? An MRI. We can't move forward until Franco's had a scan, proving that he's not suffering from another brain tumor. This is a classic. It's all tactic, all done plain and simple. Is one of you gonna take care of this or do I have to give the judge a little ring ding ding? Excuse me, officer. Can I have a moment with my client? So this little field trip, what does it really do besides just buy us some time? Well, time right now is your best friend. We've got to take this MRI at a snail's pace. Do you follow me? So this is a stalling tactic? Well, yeah, the MRI is not going to show us anything. It's just we're trying to delay charges being filed against him. OK, I'll make arrangements with Griffin. Scott, you should probably come with me. OK. Hang in there, OK? OK. I'll be over soon. I heard you'd been arrested. 